How quickly can you achieve a victory? Find out next with Agnes the Dragon's Lash Quick Take. Here is a Nuka Pender Commander Quick Take with Agnes the Dragon's Lash. It is a 3-3 of Viashino Warrior for 1 Rakdos, Red, and a Gruul. It has haste, and whenever a creature you control with haste attacks, create a tapped treasure token. Now that it is a attack trigger, it is not simply a deals combat damage trigger. I absolutely love when you have an attack trigger. In this quick take, we will go over several options to include in this deck. Having a haste valued commander, the very first great option you want to include would be Anger and Rhythm of the Wild. Anger gives all your creatures haste when it is in the graveyard, and Rhythm of the Wild ensures haste for each creature you cast. Ensuring haste for each creature is an important part of this deck because you want to make sure you get the trigger of the treasure token right from the get-go. Since each treasure token comes into play tapped, a perfect combination will be to include Amulet of Vigor. This allows any permanent that enters the battlefield under your control tapped to untap immediately. This gives you the opportunity to accelerate even further. And that a single colorless mana, this can be put on the battlefield right from the easy start. Definitely a card to include. With so many treasure tokens coming out, it is best to double them as often as possible. Cards like Zorn, Doubling Season, and Parallel Lives will give you twice the amount of treasure tokens for each hasty creature attacking. These cards, even though some may be very expensive, are the best ways to accelerate the board state. Suddenly going from one treasure to two treasures is a massive difference. Definitely include these. Additionally, ways to get the board state value with even more treasure tokens would be to include Chatterfang Scroll General and Academy Manufacturer. When we, whenever we are going to create a treasure token, we now have the opportunity to either create another creature on the board or a food or a clue token. All these additional options give us an incredible advantage to the game, with the potential options of more haste creatures for future card draws, or even simply a draw or life gain. Can't go wrong there. These are definitely cards I want to include. Now, since you have so many artifacts entering and leaving the battlefield, you can take some serious advantage of this. Cards like Reckless Fire Weaver will allow you to do damage to each opponent whenever an artifact enters the battlefield, and Nadir's Nightblade will do damage whenever a token leaves the battlefield. Pairing these two together with treasure tokens will drain your opponents faster than they can even imagine. And the best value of all of these will come with Mayhem Devil, because similar to before, Mayhem Devil can actually target any single target, giving a wide range of options. Definitely a choice you want to include. To gain even more advantage with treasure tokens, we want to include Goldspan Dragon that doubles the mana production for each treasure token, and Professional Facebreaker that gives us an incredible card advantage for each treasure token being sacrificed. This way we can either ramp up even further or dig deeper into our deck to find future win conditions. One way that is absolutely amazing to get tons of treasure tokens on a single turn will be through Bootlegger Stash, which will allow us each land to create a treasure token, and Brass's Bounty, which gives us a treasure token for every land we control. These two will give us an amount of mana that we cannot even imagine. These two will give us an immense amount of treasure tokens that will fuel the win in no time. Two awesome things you want to include to close the game out would be Torment of Hailfire, which can drain each opponent's life to zero or zero permanence with a single use, or simply even Revel in the Riches, which will let us win the game if we have, tre if we have 10 treasures at our upkeep. Treasure tokens are a perfect way to win the gold. So that is my quick take on Agnes Dragon's Lash. Are you as excited as I am to build Haste Treasure Tribal? I cannot wait to start building this commander. And let me know in the comments down below what you think and what you would do to build this deck. Once again, my name is Chris from One More Game MTG. Remember to like and subscribe for future videos. Peace.